Let me start with you, Ms. Wheeler. You and the plaintiffs shared a house together, and everything was fine. Together, you rented some furniture, some rented to own, which is you lease it. Um, it wasn't a lease. It was an outright purchase um, it, with payments being made. Um, but it was, it was in okay. Sabrina's name. So she was making the payments. Well, I was making the payments. To? Sabrina. For your half? Yes, for my half. Okay, so it was not rent to own, it was no. purchased. Yes. On her credit card. Yes. You acknowledge that it was a joint responsibility. Yes. By giving her half mm -hmm. while you were living there. Yes. Then you moved out. Yes. Because you didn't get along with her daughter. Her daughter moved in. You didn't get along with her daughter. I don't care about that because it has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has to do with me is the furniture. So you moved out and you took the furniture. Yes. And you stopped paying for the furniture. I had made the payments that were agreed When you upon. were there. But there were still more payments that had to be made for the furniture. Well, whenever I made the payments, um, my payments were supposed to go into a savings account. She was supposed to be making the monthly payments. And um, she was never making Just any of the payments. She never Just made any of the payments. Show me. Well, show me first that you gave her money for half the furniture. I have my bank statements that shows the money coming out. Oh, just... Uh... That's a very heavy package. It would take four stamps to mail that package. <laughs> so what I want you to do is take a circle and show me where you made monthly payments. I highlighted the them for you, ma'am. Perfect. And I even have a list that itemizes what each one is for each month. If you'll notice while you're looking at that, that all the just payments that are made to her are the only just times a second, that they're counter checks or ATM withdrawals. No, just a second. I just see ATM withdrawals. How do I know what they're for? One's for $500, one's for $300, one's for $200. How am I supposed to know what they're for? Each month I paid $500, $300 was towards the rent, and the $200 was for the furniture. So if you look, I can explain that there is $500 every month that's well, either one is for an ATM. One is for $120 an ATM withdrawal that you've highlighted. How do you explain? If you look at the sheet where it says May, June, July, August, it breaks it down, and if you look at the breakdown, it ends up being $500. I'm looking at your breakdown. It's on that. No, I'm not looking at your breakdown. That's prepared for litigation. I don't look okay. at that. Well, we're friends. The payments that I was making were supposed to go into a savings account. Why? They wouldn't let you make the payments off early every month. They wanted you to make the monthly payments, and at the very end, you can make one final payment to pay it off completely. That's what mine was that's, supposed to go that's, to. That's rent to own. Well, we bought it from a furniture that's store, rent and they're to not own. known for rent to own. And then you have one for $386. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. How much is left on the furniture? $1,865.41. May I see that, please? Yes, ma'am. How much was the furniture originally? It's at the top of the thing. It shows the, the payoffs at each stage of making a payment. How much was all the furniture? The total amount of the furniture before it went to the rental company was $1,566.50. When the rental company took it over, it became more than that because you're paying monthly payments. Yeah, you know, I'd paid $1,600 on it. I'd paid my half. I'd already paid well, my half. Just a second. But you didn't leave her half the furniture. <laughs> do you understand? No, listen to me. Paying your half is great. Then what you do is, if you own the furniture, you sell the furniture if you're leaving, and you split up the proceeds. But you took the furniture. I left her furniture. It doesn't I had, matter. I had furniture. No, the agreement was that I had furniture that is, um, I have documentation of the furniture and its value, pictures of it. Just a second, I don't care. Listen Ma to me. Ma'am, it was, a, it was L an even trade. Listen it to me. It was an agreement, she it wants, was an even trade. She wants it back. Give her the furniture back and then she'll make the payments. And you come and take your furniture. Uh, but my furniture has bed bugs in it because of her daughter. Ah, right, very good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of 1865. We're done, thank you. <laughs>